Every YouTuber nowadays will post a 15 minute jump shot video. They will give you one jump shot and that jump shot is usually either trash for you or your build can't even get that jump shot. But guys, this is a different type of jump shot video. You don't have to worry about that in this video because I'm going to be giving you guys the top 10 best jump shots in NBA 2K21. So at least one of these jumpers will work for you. I'm going to be giving you guys five jumpers for guards and five jumpers for power forwards slash centers if you're spotting up or running pick and pop. And if you watch this entire video, I guarantee you at least one of these new green light jump shots will work for you. And honestly, you could be better than a Zen. And if you don't believe me, the number one jump shot I'm gonna be showing on this list for guards, I've used this jump shot and it's allowed me to shoot 73% from three on current gen and 80% from three on next gen. Now there's gonna be a few people that suck even after I give them these jump shots. And you wanna know why that is? The reason is because they're gonna skip to the end of the video. They're gonna equip on these jump shots. They're gonna wipe their first three shots ever. And they're gonna be like, oh, this jumper sucks. But guys, before I show you guys the best jumpers in the game, I'm gonna give you guys three tips. These tips will increase your shooting percent by at least 15%. And when you pair these three tips with the elite jumpers I'm gonna be showing you, you will literally never miss again. But guys, enough with the intro. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into this banger, man. Let's get it. Now, before I show you guys the jump shots, there are two things you need to do in order to raise your shooting percent by 10%, statistically proven. And I'm gonna show you guys right now. What you need to do, first of all, is turn your shot meter off if it's not already turned off. This is literally proven by Mike Wing to increase your green window by 5%. So even if you're used to the meter, take your meter off and start getting used to your jump shot without the shot meter. Another thing a lot of people ask me about is shot aiming. And to be honest, shot aiming used to be the most broken thing in the game earlier in the year. But after a few patches, they honestly really nerfed it. And if you see someone green at every shot with shot aiming, there's like a 99% chance they aren't doing legit because without a Zen, it's very difficult to shoot consistent with shot aiming nowadays. So my recommendation is to just turn off your shot meter and that will help you out the most. Now the next thing you need to do is a lot of people don't do this. The reason people don't do this is because it costs VC, but I promise you it's worth it. What you wanna do is buy shooting boosts. Guys, every single comp player in the game either has unlimited boosts or buy shooting boosts. And if they don't, they're not as good as they can be. Shooting boosts are confirmed to work. They give you around a 5% boost on all of your shots. If you can't afford them, I recommend watching my recent how to get VC fast video. I'm gonna put that on the screen. So go click on that and then come back to this video. All right, so this first jumper I'm gonna recommend for big men is jump shot 38. Okay, this is for my spot ups with like a 70 to 85 three point rating that wanna shoot as consistently as humanly possible with a low three point rating. I recommend jump shot 38. Now, um, some people really like this jump shot on current gen and a lot of people are like, eh, it's not as good as, um, as 2k20 so just try it out give it a shot if you'd like it that's great if not i'm gonna recommend four other jump shots so my next jump shot recommendation for big man is jump shot 62. i would go release one rudy gay release two chris paul and you want 70 30 blood now these jumpers i'm recommending for big men are typically pretty slow jump shots because that's like the jump shots that they allow big men to get this year are like almost like set shots they're pretty slow so i would recommend going full speed but if you're able to time the shot better on three fourth speed and you still feel like you get your shot off that's totally fine just you play around with the release speed um these jumpers are still going to be good at three fourth speed or at full speed the next jump shot i recommend for big man is jump shot 124. again you can go max speed or three fourths and i recommend the blending as the same, the same releases, so 70% Rudy Gay, 30% Chris Paul. These releases to me just make the jumper smooth, but also you can mess around with the releases and make them whatever you want because the base is the only thing that actually affects the jump shot timing this year. My next jump shot I'm gonna recommend is Jump Shot 3. The releases I found best with this base is um, Stephen Curry. It just kind of, it kind of gives it a uh, clean look, but again, change around the releases, make it whatever you want. Um, but jump shot three is a very good base and i would probably go max speed with this one and my final jump shot i'd recommend for a big man and spot ups with a low three point rating 
is set shot seven. Um, the releases, you can really do whatever you want with it. But this kind of looks like a weird jump shot. But what I've found is it's super easy to time. Like once you get the feel for it, you could green a lot of shots with these with with this base. So go try out if you're a big all the bases I've used, or at least some of these bases. And yeah, I mean they're really good jump shots. And if you use my other tips, you keep the same jump shot on for a while, this will really help you shoot consistent. Now for the best jump shots in the game for guards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the two most popular jump shots that most comp players are using this year. Then I'm gonna give you the jump shot I've been using this year, which is different for most people, but it works really well for me and I'm hoping it works well for you guys too. And I'm gonna give you two really underrated jump shots where if the first three jump shots don't work for you, maybe one of the last two jump shots will work for you. So for jump shot number one is a very popular jump shot. It's jump shot 98, Rudy Gay release one, Rudy Gay release two, and most people go three, four speed with it because it's pretty fast, but full speed is also fine. Um, so this is a really good jump shot, it's really popular. It's good for like off quick stops. In my opinion, it's not the best off catch and shoot and stuff, but if you're dribbling a lot as a guard, then it's it's good for you. Now, um, the second jump shot is Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade is similar to jump shot 98, I would say. It kind of looks similar too, but a lot of people find Dwayne Wade easier time. A lot of people find jump shot 98 easier time. So like I said, it's about preference, it's about trying out different things and seeing what works best for you. Now this third jump shot I'm gonna give you is my jump shot. This is a jumper I'm shooting 80% on next gen with, which I don't play next gen a lot, but when I did play next gen, I shot 80% from three with it. And I'm shooting 73% um, on current gen. So that jumper is Ray out. And the two releases I got right now are Larry Bird and Kevin Love. But you could change these releases um, and just you know do what works best for you. I've tried out a bunch of different releases with this Ray Allen and they're all pretty good but this is one I found the best but just try out different releases see what works for you. The most important thing is Ray Allen base full speed because this is kind of like a slower jumper compared to 90 and 20 weight so full speed makes the jump shot timing not that fast but the jumper itself actually fast if you know what I mean. And you got a really high arc on this jump shot, and I really like it once you get used to it. My next jump shot is Zach Levine. Zach Levine has been a good jump shot for a couple years now. It's still really good on um, current gen, so definitely try out Zach Levine. If those jumpers don't work for you, and also the other four jumpers that I mentioned, give them time because you're not just gonna equip them and start greening after like three shots. This is not how it is realistically gonna work. Try them out each for like a few days and you should get a better feel for it. But honestly, sometimes it could take months. But anyway, jump shot number five. I would recommend Dante Exum, okay? A lot of people like this jump shot. It's another jump shot that was popular in 20, but still, it's pretty good in current gen. I would say this is like on the slower side, but a lot of people find this super easy to time and it has a pretty unique timing, but it's a pretty good time. And I wanna give an honorable mention before to Steph Curry jump shot. Honestly, for Steph Curry, you could use it for spot ups or guards. I would say it's slightly better for spot ups, but there's really no issue with using Steph Curry on your guard. All right, guys, now, after all these tips and all the different jump shots I'm showing you, one of the most important tips I could give you, and one of the reasons I became such a great shooter in 2K in general, is you need to stick to one jump shot. You gotta just try out a few different things, see which timing feels the best for you, and once you find a timing that you kind of like, don't switch your jump shot. Even if you have a bad game here and there, keep the same jump shot. The more you use the same jump shot and get in a lot of practice, your muscle memory will adapt and you will be shooting lights out in the park. Now, if you didn't make it this far, please drop a like on this video. It really helps out, I really appreciate it. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on. Also, I'm gonna put two videos in about a second on the screen that I think you're really gonna like. So definitely go check out those videos. I promise you, they're banger videos. You won't regret it. But anyways, guys, until next time, it's been your boy, GBT, and I'm out of y'all. Peace. You coming up short, we go all the way. No, it's a problem, we bringing up bread. Remember the name and the movement we let. Don't aim at the body, we shoot at the head. The money get longer, we learn how to spread.